Today, uh, we are going to talk about uncollectible accounts. The reason why uh, we say accounts receivable is that uh, account, accounts with S means we have a lot of accounts, really say. But we cannot say that uh, we will get, we will collect the 100% of these uh, accounts receivable. If we have millions of accounts receivable, the millions of the customers uh, allow the customers are using the credit. So uh, we have to uh, consider uh, some reasonable business activity uh, based on the past experience that so that we can uh, the adjust account receivable uh, with adjusting account and the sales uh, with uh, some adjusting expense account on the income statement. So we are going to discuss uh, the practice, the two adjusting account on the balance sheet and income statement on the balance sheet, how to adjust, how to adjust account receivable and how on the income statement, how to adjust the sales uh, with the expense account. Okay, so let's go. Transition number one, sold the inventory $700,000 to customer at sales price a million, okay, on credit. So now the AR is very simple. They are 1 million with the sales, 1 million. So we allow, this company allows, uh, take this credit transaction, credit sales. Now the cost of goods sold, cost of goods sold based on the matching principle is $300,000. $300, then the inventory, $300,000 out. So we can make gross profit $300,000. Transition number two, provision estimate based on the past experience of uncollectible account. So we record allowance for bad debt of this 5% out of total credit sales. So oh, I'm going to write down here the credit sales. Let's say the credit sales the, uh, to say Clearly, so debit account now and credit account. We are going to use two account to reduce this account receivable and the sales. In order to reduce the sales, we put here on the debit. Opposite, in order to reduce account receivable, we put some account contra account on the credit. So, which account here? Bad debt expense. Bad debt. This is expense account uh, based on uh, the provisions estimate okay, based on the past uh, the collection experience. So 5% of credit sales is not going to be collected. So this is 5%. So $50,000, the better expense will reduce the sales. Why? This is one of operating expense account. The better expense when we record here, we can reduce the sales, right? And then credit account, now we are going to use allowance for bad debt account. So allowance for bad debt. This allowance for bad debt is contra account that reduce the a company account, the main account of this account receivable so that we uh, end up in with uh, this account receivable net. So the same 50%. So this is provision, not the actual not the right of determined amount but the based on the past collection experience so the estimate amount is fifty thousand dollars fifty thousand dollars because all the all the accounts should be uh, very realistic okay now on the transaction number three write up determined within allowance so recognize thirty thousand dollars to never be collected from a customer or uh, maybe one of the customer went bankrupt uh, we got this information and then uh, we decided, we determined to uh, write up this uh, amount out of 50 because that provision is uh, kind of, it, it's, not, it's not determined amount, right? But out of 50, we realized that $30,000 is going to be uncollectible. Never be collected, uncollect, no uncollectible is never be collected, okay? 
So the debit account now, we have to remove this allowance or bad debt. This allowance or bad debt, $50,000, is a reserved amount until certain amount out of $50,000 is determined, right? And then we realize that this $30,000 never gonna be collected. Then we can use AR reduced by $30,000 because it is not the provision any longer. So we reduced this amount, okay? So use the allowance for bad debt by the amount of the write-off now we can reduce AR because the write-off is the determination. Okay, so we'll see a never impact the balances, balances both on income statement and balance sheet uh, when we recognize this write-off. Okay, um, uh, into this balance sheet and income statement later. Now recovery, recovery. The customer unexpectedly paid out. Oh, the previously previously written up. I'm going to write down exactly recovery. Uh, recovery the pre, uh, is unexpected. Unexpectedly paid out. Previously written up. Written up. Now unexpectedly paid out thirty thousand dollars. So in this case, how do you record? Now we have to recover this AR by the same amount, 30,000, and the credit account allowance or bad debt because it was wrong written up. We have to recover this first. And then what account do you need? Because the customer now paid out $30,000. This customer paid out $30,000. So cash, $30,000. Received. And then AR. Because the company received cash $30,000. By this amount, this AR should be reduced. So also we don't have to record AR. Because AR on the debit and a for the recovery and then AR uh, for the cash collection thirty thousand dollars. So it is just uh, the offset. So cash in and allowance for bad debt. This case also recovery never impacts balance on the income statement and balance. We see on the balance sheet and income statement here. Now let's post this each account on the T account. Account receivable, and then account receivable, 30,000, and then accounts receivable, here we go, 30,000, accounts receivable, 30,000. Allowance for bad debt, allowance for bad debt, 50,000 for the provision, and 30,000 for the written up, and then allowance for bad debt, for the recovery, 30,000 on the credit. So the allowance of bad debt total balance is 50,000. And the inventory, now inventory out, right? When the company sold inventory 700 and the cash up, cash up in $30,000 on the recovery because the customer paid $30,000 and then sales a million cost of goods sold expense on the debit 700 expense for the bad debt expense on the provision $50,000 okay so we put this journal and uh, this t account on the balance sheet on the cash, oh, let's just start it from here. Accounts receivable, I didn't put this accounts receivable. The last final balance, 970. So let's put the accounts receivable first. Accounts receivable, the gross amount is 970. And then allowance of bad debt is contra account. So we have to put negative. $50,000 is the account receivable 
the net is 920. And then inventory now out, right? And then cash in by 30,000. And then sales and the income statement a million cost of goods sold minus 700. So gross profit is 300,000. And then operating expense of this better expense minus okay, 50,000. And then uh, I missed this. So the operated income is now 250. Uh, we don't have any other transaction ignoring tax. So 250 should be retained into the retained earning. So we balanced out. We balanced out like this. Okay. So as you can see that the account receivable nine hundred and seventy thousand dollars is accounts receivable the, the gross amount after this subtraction of allowance for bad debt nine hundred uh, fifty uh, fifty thousand and then accounts receivable net nine hundred twenty. So let's just take a look at what happened on the balance sheet. If I if I just remove this all the thirty thousand dollars, then I will record once again. So we started accounts receivable one million from the provision. So we got the accounts receivable net nine hundred fifty, and then this the gross pro oh, sorry the sales one million, and then bad expense uh, fifty thousand dollars. Okay, so let's take a look at let's take a look at this the balance sheet. So. Here, allowance of bad debt, allowance of bad debt, $30,000 on the written up. So what happened? When I record this $30,000 once again, so we now reduce this allowance of bad debt uh, to $20,000. So accounts receivable net, Increased, but AR also decreased because it is rich enough. It's determined amount that the company uh, uh, was able to reduce accounts receivable. So, thirty thousand dollars. So, nine hundred and seventy. The same amount, thirty thousand dollars. Thirty thousand dollars reduces. So, accounts receivable net, nine hundred fifty. So, never change. Never change. Okay. Again. This is before recording, so 950 after recording. Okay, the same amount of decrease. There's a total asset, exactly the same amount. Now let's record the recovery, $30,000 with the $30,000. So we return to the, uh, the transition two cases. So we return. And then uh, the reason why we uh, recover this amount is that the customer actually previously written up actually paid out thirty thousand dollars. So the cash amount received thirty thousand dollars, right? Thirty thousand dollars received here. Then AR reduced because the comp the, the customer paid out thirty thousand dollars. So thirty thousand dollars reduced, but accounts receivable net amount has been reduced. But the total asset has not been changed because of the cash received by $30,000. Only the account receivable $30,000 reduced because the company received the cash $30,000 from the, uh, the customer previously written up. Okay? And then during this procedure, there's no, no changes on uh, the income statement because there's no income statement uh, the adjustment. The reason why we uh, the uh, we, we we don't adjust we don't adjust this bad debt expense is that this income statement account is just only one year account. We will uh, increase or decrease uh, based on our provision changes uh, pro based on our uh, the provision changes into the bad debt expense. Okay. Okay. See you. 
in the next video clip. Yes, bye bye.